Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from by this time of the night? Where? What kind of question is that? I'm from the office, of course. Which office? Your office closed by five. Look at the time. You're coming home by this time of the night. Come on, I was held up in traffic. You don't need this traffic. You liar. Which useless traffic? Which useless traffic? Are you the only one walking? Are you the only one walking? You think I'm stupid? <laughs> you think I don't know? You, you want to sell these stupid slut girlfriends of yours? There's something wrong with you. What, what, what's, what's going on with you? What do you mean what's going on with me? You lying all of it, man. Look at the time you're coming back. Look. 8.30 p.m. That's why you're coming. You shameless man. Let me smell that. You. Who did you go to see? Who did you go to see? Where did you go talk to me? Where did you go? You're not going anywhere. Where did you go? Answer me. You must tell me. Who did you go to see? Oh yeah, start talking. Talk. Shameless whole of a man. Oh, you want to hit me? <laughs> you want to hit me because of your girlfriend? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hit me now. Fight me. Hit me now. Let's fight. Hit me. Hit me now. You want to hit me because of your girlfriend? Go ahead. Hit me. Hey, babe. Where's my food? What? My food. Which food? You think I'm stupid, though? You really think I'm stupid? So after misbehaving, you, you, you come back, you start to serve you. Come and eat me now. Come and eat. Go back to her, tell her to give you food. Nonsense. to misbehave. My food, you bloody refuse to give me food. What uh -huh. do you want to do? You have begged me. That's, that's what a good husband would do. Beg you? Yes. For my food. What are you doing? I'm talking to you, walking out. What are you doing? Why did you go to my box? I'm talking to you and you're walking out. Huh? I'm talking to you. Why did you go to my box? Who asked you to go to my box? That you take food by yourself. I'm tired. Why are you tired? Because I am tired. I haven't rested since I got back. You should be nag, 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 nag. Now you want to do. Let me, I want to do. I don't know what you're saying. Can you stop it now? I have to rest. I have to go to work in the morning now. Stop it. Stop it. You are the CEO. You can go to work anytime you want. I cannot sleep anytime I want at the office. What's wrong with you now? Leave my to-do. Leave my to-do. Leave my to-do. Don't touch my to-do. Okay, so you've exhausted your strength, right? That's what you're trying to tell me. Now you don't have then you when, when it's my turn now, you are tired. I do not have strength. You want to do? You want to do? You want yes. to do? Okay, come and do now. I will lie down like a, a log of wood. Come and do. Come, come, come and do. 
What's the meaning of all this rubbish now? Where did you go to exhaust your strength? Now you're saying, you're you tired, you're tired, you're tired. We have to do. Okay, stay like that. Stay like that. What's wrong with you now? Do now. Do. Do, madam, do. Yo, man, what's going on? <laughs> I'm cool, man. How have you been? What's up, man? You're, you're not looking good. Hope you're not overworking yourself. My brother, it's my, my wife. That girl wants to kill me before my time. Imagine I didn't even get to sleep last night. Just kept nagging, nagging, wanting to nag me to death. You know what, Mike? I'm tired of this marriage. I just, I just want out. Oh, come on. You see, ma ma marriage is not a bed of roses, okay? I think what you need to do is call her, sit her down, and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with her. Do you understand? Make her understand that you're not finding this nagging thing funny anymore. Mike, I've done that several times. Still no change. She's still the same, nagging every time. You know how long we've been married for? Yeah. Five years. Almost five years now. Still no children. She's had two miscarriages. Why? Because she doesn't get to rest every time she's pregnant. Sit down and rest. No, she will nag. She will fight about everything. She will complain about everything. I am tired. Nelson, I need you to make you understand that marriage is full of ups and downs. Okay? It takes a great deal of patience, maturity, sacrifice. You know, sir, I think you should be more patient and tolerant with her. She might definitely change. Like you don't understand. I don't think that's possible. She won't. I know the person I'm talking about. She won't. <laughs> oh, didn't you notice all this while you guys were dating? You know, I, I, I always knew she was a jealous lover, but I thought once we get married, she was going to change, you know? Because she, she, she has me, she should be more secure, but she's been totally insecure. Totally insecure. Things have been worse since we got married. Oh, you know, you know how women are um, always trying to protect their territory? Well, I think she's overprotecting her territory. I'm tired. I just want to. I just want to rest, man. Can I just rest you? Guess from all the way. I am. Go help yourself, man. Put me on your problems. Hey, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Sassy, shine. Play your eyes with this. Now my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You just cast, you just run. See where they talk. See, 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 see. See person where they talk. <laughs> now miss cast, I've been a use cast. What did they happen, self? You know they can't be see person. Now oh, wow. No place, no place. No see person don't marry now. I'm a widow now. I need to take care of my husband. I need to be around him. I need to take care of myself and my husband. I just need to arrange myself very well for my husband. Eh? Uh -huh. So now only you don't marry for this whole wide world. <laughs> You're the only married woman in this world. <laughs> no, but I'm fine. I'm good. Eh, uh, you know what I like? You eat now, ah, Bobby. Now, wow. You see, everywhere just is shine. You see, see, you just they shine. You just they chop this your husband money alone. No wonder, person, you know they see your eye again. No wonder. I beg leave that in which money. Meanwhile, this is just my husband. They spend money for one stupid girl. So, I mean, they will catch that girl. The day we will catch that stupid little girl, I will press her. The girl will be beat like mumu. The day we will catch that girl. <laughs> they don't know me. They don't know. Are you serious? So, your husband has a side chick. How did you find out? Are you talking based on evidence or did you see them or you're just saying this? In my mind, they tell me. Ah, ah. I'm can never be lying. That day we will catch that little show. I could be picked back in the hey. press her neck like this. Hey, calm down. Hey, hey. Calm down. They don't know me. Wait, wait. So all this power where you they do now, all this your vex now, now based on instinct. What do you they talk? So you're actually accusing your husband based on instinct. That's what you're doing. You don't even know if he's doing it. You're just feeling like it and you're, and you're accusing him already. 
Do you want to destroy your relationship with your own hands? I understand. Why can't I do my serious? Maybe you're supposed to give me a solution. Who's like, who's going to ask me to Which one is solution? You don't trust your husband and that is not nice. Every successful relationship must have trust. Complete trust. Trust? Yes. Trust man. Then they trust man. Me, I go die, I go fight, I go keep person. Anybody who wants my husband, I go break his head. Babe, make I tell you something. You won't know the truth. This one will be by gra gra. This gra gra where you they do now, this is your eye where they open. No be so they think do marriage you. Make I just tell you. Better calm down. Before you use your heart to destroy this your marriage, you won't break head. Wait a minute, you want to press the head when you won't break. You don't know. <laughs> I don't do. I don't. I don't. I wait till you get. Wait till you get. Ah, Make I my job. Hmm. That's it. <laughs> you want to break first? Yeah. Don't call my phone. That's it. If not because he lacked peace of mind as well. He's my friend. Well, let's forget about Nelson and his wife and let's concentrate about us and why you're here. What did you bring for me? What's I that brought bag? my whole set. Your whole set? That I got yes. to myself. Yes. Really? 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 So now, <laughs> I'm sure you're the way through. Oh, <laughs> oh my thing, my thing. called my husband last night. Yes, this is his wife speaking. Baby, if I catch you, <laughs> you can only hide. You can only hide, but if I catch you, I will kill you. Yes, you heard me. Shameless husband snatcher. What's wrong with you? Why are you talking to one of my contacts like that? News flash. I want that stupid contact of yours. I told her if I catch her, I will kill her. And I mean it. Are you crazy? Are you sick? You are the sick one. You, you irresponsible bastard. Why are you having an affair? Am I not good enough for you? Shameless ego. I don't have time for none of your crazy drama. Who is? You are the one that is crazy. It's me and you in this house. Useless ego. You cannot stay with your wife. If I catch that girl,
Look, man, you will love our services. I mean, we are excellent at what we do. <laughs> it's no problem if you want us to talk about it. No, it's not a problem if you don't mind. We could meet over lunch and talk about this. All right, uh, Friday, 2 p.m. All right, cool. Friday, 2 p.m. is, is excellent. Okay, ma'am. All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Why did you leave the living room? Bad network and I came out, I had an important call, important client. Mm -hmm. You can see, bad network. What's the problem? I know you are hiding something. I really don't know what it is, but I would definitely... What's your it. problem? Can't I have freedom in my own house? Can't I walk anywhere I want to walk? Answer my call anywhere I want to answer my call? Who was just snooping around? What's the problem? <laughs> Jesse, we've been waiting for over 10 minutes. Can you call our brother for us, please? I told you, my husband is not ready to entertain any visitors. Go to your house, go and get married, stay in your house. Buy somewhere and stay. Stop coming here. What rubbish are you saying? You call those visitors in our brother's house. Hello. How are you guys? Fine, thank you. are not fine. What's happening? I told this sister that we are not ready to entertain visitors. That we are busy. Yeah, that we need time for ourselves. My sisters came to visit me. You're trying to chase them away? What's wrong with you? What are you trying to do? Hey, what? Are you serious? They came to visit me. I mean, you should welcome them. Are you trying to tell my husband because of this sister? Yes. Mm -hmm. what we should do. Embarrassing. So, because my brother married Miss Ward, he should abandon us. He should not talk to us again, right? Ha! Listen, Jesse, you're just an ordinary housewife. We have every right to stay here as long as we want. Look, 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 look. stop it. I will not have you talk to my wife like that, okay? Mm -mm. I will not have you disrespect my wife. No, let them insult me. Go ahead, beat me. You see? You, you see your sisters? Babe. Fight me! Babe, it's okay. This is what the sisters are doing. This, this shameless, mannerless, uh, old okay, women. I don't babe, want to get married. Enough, enough. Don't call my sisters like mannerless, okay? Don't, don't call them mannerless. Hey, brother! I'm actually respecting you, brother. If not, I don't know what to do to this shameless, workless, classless, useless, useless, shameless. Sister, you get your job. Wait up, you're crazy. Leave me alone. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes, Everything okay? What do you mean is everything okay? Can't you see that I help myself? What did I do this? What do you mean? What did you do? I know you did this intentionally. 
I have no idea of what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm just be careful, what, what, what do you mean be careful? Can't you touch me? Can't you massage me? Can't, can't you feel I'm hot? Okay, you know what? I will take you to the room and I will give you some pain relief. No, no, no. no. I don't want pain relief. I want you to massage me. I want you to it's just take work. care of just me. It's going work. Just come. It will work. Just massage my palm. Let's go to the room. It's okay. <laughs> What's the water everywhere? I don't know. Did you, did you pour water on the floor? Did you mean I know, I know you did this. Let's go. <laughs> Things are making me go through. Oh, baby. What did I do? <sighs> you know what? I know you will not be able to go downstairs and make yourself a meal, so I made something really delicious for you. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that was very thoughtful of you. It reminds me when you used to love me. <laughs> you know how much I love you, right? No, I love you more, you know. Come on, I love you more. No. Oh, come on, you're you about to show you. I love you more, no. especially your lips. You know, each time I look at those lips, it's like, mm. you know, each time I look at these lips, they're like uh, succulent. I just kind of resist it. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Nothing. What? Mm-hmm. I don't mean it like that. Like, like, like that. Don't oh, think too dear. much of yourself. I mean, nothing. like, nothing. Yes. Ah, so you think you got me, right? Yes, I do. Got <laughs> you. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to get one little girl. You know. Fresh. <laughs> She's for the fuckers like they are done. Oh, come on, baby. I so love you. I still love you, it's just that you keep pushing me away. No, you don't. I don't feel the love anymore. That's because you decided to turn a blind eye. Look, look really well, you see it. I love you, baby. Nothing has changed. Ah! What is it, babe? Ah, my buttocks. Oh, I'm sorry, you know what? Just get your meal, then I will massage your buttocks after. <sighs> exactly what I need. See you're really in pain. Uh, uh, yes. I hit my butt on the floor. It's really hot. <sighs> Sorry. Have you taken any pain reliever? No way now. Don't take all those drugs. I'll be fine. I'll just massage until the pain goes away. You'll remain in pain and just keep massaging till the pain goes away. So why don't you just take a pain reliever so you can help yourself and ease off the pain? Well, what even cost this? How did you get to hit your butt on the floor? My husband. He intentionally poured butt on the floor so I would fall. How can you say that? Why would your husband want to hurt you deliberately? Why? He poured butt on the floor intentionally. It was a trap. Yes, because he was, he was suspecting him with his phone. You wanted to get hold of his phone? Why would you want to get hold of his phone in the first place? Why? Because I was suspecting him. I wanted to find out what he was hiding. And did you succeed? No. You did not succeed. Instead, you ended up hurting yourself. Now you're the one hurting. Why don't you just leave this man alone? Give him a breathing space for crying out loud. Leave him alone? Uh -huh. Can you even hear yourself? I thought you were a good friend. Okay, I should leave him alone so one stupid girl will just snatch him away from me. There is no stupid girl snatching your husband away from you. You are just being insecure and you need to grow up. Seriously. Look at you now. You're the one here growling in pain. See? Because you want to get a phone.
Mikey. Yo, so much on that though. Of course, I know. Babe, so when are we walking down the aisle together? Um, I'm just trying to fix one of the things together and um, once that is done, I'll let you do. Thank you. It was to it. All right then. <coughs> Seriously, I feel so sorry for Nelson. With the way the wife is going, I hope he doesn't end up having high blood pressure. Trust me, I don't know why she's been behaving that way to me. I feel it's insecurity measures. It 
think so. I think someone really need to talk senses into me. Maybe I should. That's right. I can say that. Because I care. <laughs> Mother, don't, don't even think about it. You know how Jessica can be. She doesn't even listen to anyone. Is it she might not be cool with Nelson coming and tell us that about their marital issues and you know, not wanting to talk pattern into it. Well, I hope she doesn't push him away with her bad character. I just hope so. Well, I just believe with her, she will change. You know, like all this still no she should she's trying to be tolerant and patient to her. She will change. So, what are we having for dinner? Okay, I'm gonna have you for dinner. I'm gonna have you for dinner. Now, come here! <laughs> Imagine that. Good evening to you too. I'm talking about something very important. You're talking about greeting. Can you imagine your silly sisters coming here to threaten me in my own husband's house? Eh? I thought a good wife would first get her husband something to eat, allow him to freshen up before coming to him with complaints. I should come first in your life, Nelsie. I should come first before any other. I'm talking about something very important. Your sisters coming here to, 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 to threaten me in my own husband's house. Tell them that you cannot do anything. Oh, you're not interested in people, people insulting me. Tell your sisters if they try me, I will beat the people that will squeeze me, change them, I will wrap up. They're not listening to what I'm saying. Oh, you don't care if people are insulting me. Oh, that's what you're trying to do. You don't care that you're insulting your wife. I'm talking to you. Tell them not to come to my husband's house. Else I will deal with them. Tell them not to even hear this. <laughs> I don't think you should take such drastic decision in a hurry. I think you should uh, try and talk to your wife and be patient about this. Mike, Mike, you don't understand. I'm done. I am done. I'm tired. It's over. I'm calling my lawyer to start divorce proceedings. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'm telling you. Do you know how much damage she's caused? She's chased everyone away from me. Everyone. Family, my sisters can't even come to my house for you anymore. My pals, everybody. Even the other day she called my office and she insulted my secretary. What? What did the girl do to her? What? That, that, that woman is crazy. You don't get it, she's crazy. Why not call her mother or someone she listens to? She doesn't listen to anybody. She doesn't listen to anybody. She's stubborn and crazy. I think I think you both should see a marriage counselor. They need to talk to her. I can't get it. She doesn't listen to anybody. Not even a marriage counselor. I just want out. I'm done. I want out. I can't do this anymore. Listen, look at you. You, 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 you go crazy. Because it's crazy. It's crazy.
You will never get rid of me. No, this very spectacle will die here. You will stay here. You are not going anywhere. Come back here. Why are you going? Come back here. Crazy mama. She's become a thorn in my flesh. She's gone about uh, harassing my, 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 my workers, my, my, my friends. She's even gone as far as insulting my business associates. Mama, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of her attitude. Mama, no, no, no. Mama, you've, you've, you've talked to her before. This is not the first time I'm, I'm reporting uh, Jesse to you. I've done that before, and you said you were going to talk to her. You talked to her, but nothing has changed. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. She's, she's exhausting me, Mama. She's driving me crazy. Mama, this one is not about being patient. I've told you this before. The sooner she changes, the better for her. Because I'm tired, Mama. I'm tired. I'm tired. Please. Mama, I, I, will, I will talk to you later. Thank you, good boy. Please, just, just do what you can because I'm tired of my I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I've run out of my patience. Cheers. So, what's going on? I'm worried. My husband has been picking my calls. I've sent him countless messages. He's not replying to any. Did you guys have a fight? No, 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 no more thing now. No more arguments now. Eh? Because I went to insult one, one stupid lady. He claimed to be his client. He got really angry. He moved to the guest room and he's threatening to, to leave me. Nancy said he wants to leave me. <laughs> you see what I've been telling you? This is what I've been telling you. That you want to ruin your marriage. But you wouldn't listen. I they sing this thing like song now. You know one here. Why would you go and fight your husband's clients? Why? Yeah, that woman not be anything. That woman I saw is his girlfriend. They're having something. Okay. So give me proof. What's the proof that they are lovers? Tell me. I don't have any proof. But I saw him. I know Nancy very well. He was all smiled up. He was happy. He uh, has everything. They're having something. Jesse. Your husband will go smile again. Wait in. Do you know the truth? I know the truth. The truth is they're having something and there's nothing you can tell me. Mm -mm. It's his girlfriend. Mm -mm. Not that. The truth is that you, my friend, you have fish brain. Yes. You're getting so obsessed with your husband and you're becoming so insecure. That is it. So your husband should not smile again when he's with a woman. He should be all sad. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just call me fish brain? Now wait till you be, babe. Right now, that is what you are. You know me and they talk I'm the way it be. I tell you the way it is. This thing you're doing is beginning to annoy me. Wait till now. My house. Yes. I know they go anywhere. Now you can't get the man for me. Eh, uh, I go tell you the truth anytime, any day. That's why I'm your friend. Where they go? I know they go anywhere. They, they, I know they I go. Sure. This is the way they do, they vex me. Wait till me this one now. I don't understand. Are you marrying my husband for me? You won't kill him, man. Hey, you be like, see this our single who they sweet to you. You don't know what's in me they see. You go soon come join me again. You go soon join me. You go soon join me. I know they go anywhere. I bet you me. I want to talk to you. Go find chicken. Make I talk. Mama. <laughs> Mama, you did not tell me you were coming. How are you? Why are you this man into the dream? Why can't you let this man have peace? Mama, he came to complain to Yes, you. he did. And I've been talking to you, trying to calm you down. But you're not listening. A woman who knocks so much, pushes her husband into another woman's arm. I did nothing wrong. Nelson is cheating on me. But why are you embarrassing his friends and colleagues? I did not embarrass anyone. It's just one stupid woman that's trying to take my husband away from me. Jesse. 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 How many times have I called you? Mama, three times. I'm 
thinking it's for apologize to your husband. No way! Ask for forgiveness when he is hurt. No way, Mama. I mean, he should be the one apologizing to me for cheating on me. Jesse, a word is enough for the wives. Okay, so it's fine. What do you want? I don't want anything. I'm going home. No, you can't go, Mama. You just I got here. Mama, you can't go now. You just got here now. By the time I come back, I hope there will be peace. Yes, there's peace, Mama. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you later. All right, bye. No, let me let me walk you up to the car. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, okay? I just couldn't stand that woman around you. I'm sorry, please. Look, that woman is my client. I have nothing to do with her. Nothing. I told you. I'm sorry. Don't blame me, please. Because I love you so much. I don't want to lose you. You're not losing me. Look, all I want you to do is to just stop harassing me and stop your nagging. It's, it's killing me. I'm sorry. Okay, I will stop. I will. Are you sure? I will. about my friend Jesse, your wife. Yes, I know she has been a pain in the neck for a while now. <laughs> I understand. And I've talked to her, but the truth is, she loves you. Like, she really loves you, and sometimes it makes her so obsessive about you. <laughs> she told me about the issues you guys had, and that you refused to pick her calls or respond to her messages. <sighs> she won't do it again, trust me, okay? Did she tell you what she did? Yes, she did. And I told her she warned. But just trust me, she won't do it again. She has changed. She now knows. And she shouldn't just Don't worry. It's just because she loves you. That's why. Hey, babe. Hi. What's up? What is going on? What are you two discussing with me? What? It's my friend now. My friend, you She came to see me. What a bright, senseless good man would do is call me out to come and see her. Not here, discuss. What? You want to take her to a hotel? What? Stop this. What's wrong with you? Is this how you accuse your husband? Abel, Abel, shut up, Abel. You, you know very well. You know I don't like to see female around my husband. Yet you're here discussing. What are you discussing with my husband? What? You want to snatch my husband from me? It will not work. So I cannot exchange pleasantries with your husband. Which useless pleasantry are you exchanging? Since I heard when the doorbell rang, I heard when you came in. Since that time you heard discussing. What are you discussing? Okay. What are you discussing with my husband? What? Hey, you know what? Let me just shut my mouth and carry my bag out. Hey, go! Go! You will not see my husband. Go! Go! Her husband's not Go! Don't say anything. Carry your problem and go. I will cut friends like you that want to take my husband from me. Go! Husband snatcher. Every day we advise you get a man, get a man. So it's my husband that you want to use and compensate yourself. Go, I beg! What are you 
have you? What were you even discussing with that guest? Eh? Say how nice it is. You don't have more things coming into Africa. Why is it moving there? You know? I don't know. Yeah, um, what's up with the issue within you and your wife? Has it been sorted out? My wife? <laughs> I, I thought things were going to get better, but nothing has changed. I think it's been getting worse. I mean, I told her mom. Her mom said she was going to talk to her. She did. She came home apologizing to me. I thought she had changed for a few hours only to you know, get back to her old self and things even got worse. Can you imagine this morning her best friend or closest friend came to the house and uh, decided to talk to me. Whilst we were talking, she came out and she started to accuse me of trying to woo her friend, embarrassing the girl. Yes, really. I mean, she came out embarrassing the girl. Really? And the funny thing is that that girl was even talking to me about her apologizing on behalf telling me to give her a second chance. But why is your wife so insecure? Why? I guess you come and accuse both of you of trying to have something together. The best friend. The best friend. I think she's, she's getting crazy because the character she's exhibiting is not normal. She's totally lost it. It's, it's, it's not impressive. Uh, I know okay, it's difficult to understand. This is where is the girl? Where is the girl? Where did you keep her? This is where you are. This shameless, useless friend of yours. Where is the girl? Where is she? You shameless idiot. I think I don't know that. Thank you, everyone. This is my husband to those small, small girls. Where is the girl? What? What are you doing here? You want to introduce my husband to another girl, I mean? What are you people doing here? What is he telling you? Jesse, I think. I think this the, you, you're going insane right now. I can you just walk in here without greeting anybody and the next thing you're accusing both of us of waiting for some girls? Eh? Yes, I suppose greet you. I suppose greet you, you idiot. Lady Sugar's man. And as I say, need this man. Stay away from my husband. Leave my husband alone. Stay away from my husband. Leave him alone. Listen, what's all this? What are you people doing? What's going on? Let's talk. What are you doing? Ah, what what's going on? Where's the girl? How is she? Fell down. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, now. Talk now. It's nothing too serious, okay? She will be fine very soon, okay? Thank you, Doctor. Thank God it's not so serious. But please, if I may ask, what, what really happened? Was she involved in a fight? Doctor, I told you my wife fell and she hit her head on the floor. She wasn't fighting anybody. It's just that it's hard to believe that a full-grown woman like her could just fall and hit her head on the floor. Except if there's water or a kind of liquid on the floor. So both of you have to be more careful because such occurrence could lead to something more dangerous. Okay? Doctor, thank you. And I assure you that um, <clears throat> um, we're going to be more careful, you know. I will, I will just watch her, make sure that it's uh, no problem. It's all right. Well, I beg to take my leave now. We'll take good care of her, okay? Right. It's alright. Yeah. Get better, okay? Thank you, Doctor. I'm sorry, okay? Having headaches? I'm your headache. This one doesn't give you a headache now, I don't understand all. This thing alone should cause you to rest at least. You know, at least one you should be able to sleep very well. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Probably you should have seen the way she, she fell down and hit her head on the floor. I did intentionally. I just put my phone down and I put some oil on the floor. I knew my wife would have resisted the tissue of coming to check in my phone. And she did. She fell into my trap. And look at you. I feel it so cold what you did. You should be proud of me. What if she had fallen on the tiles and broke her hair? 
Or haven't you heard of people falling on the towels, break their head and die from there? Come on, this is not the best way to crush her now. Well, I, I didn't think about it that way, you know. I, I was just trying to get back to her, punish her. Living with that woman, it's hell. I understand, man. It's crazy. I understand. But trust me, please, I beg you not to pull such taunt. Because man, I'll be cool with you next time. I understand. I won't. But what I think is, I, I, I think I should go to her parents, you know. Let them know that their daughter is misbehaving. You know, I've been trying to keep it from them, but I think this is the time I go to them, tell them that I'm tired, I can't deal with this anymore. I think that's a bad idea. I'll yeah. just let the parents talk to her. Yeah, because I'm, I'm tired. I mean, I've been saying it, but I'm truly tired. This is getting out of hand. Come on, man. Just have a drink and not let that bother you too much. down to her and I had to call you to come over. The one thing here is that your wife might be at home all day. But that does not mean that she's having enough rest. What she need right now is enough rest. Okay? Okay, doctor. And make sure she takes her drugs in time. Please. I will. I'll do my best. Sorry, girl. How is it now? Mm -hmm. I hope you're better now. Stay alive. Well, it's good you're better now. Uh, we had you seen it, that's why I decided to come check you. Yes. Mm. Well, just so you know, you're my problem. As a matter of fact, you're my main problem. You think I don't know you're the one introducing social girls to my husband all around town? Excuse me, Jesse. My fiancé here is a very, very responsible man. He can never influence anyone negatively. Not to talk of your husband here, his closest friend. Now, if you don't know, 
Nelson here is a very, very principled and irresponsible man. He can never do anything to hurt you. I wonder why you can't trust him. Uh, you look at yourself. You that have used, used lies and deceit to blind your eyes. Open your eyes. Look at him. Open your eyes. This man, he's just he's going to suck you dry. He's press you, press you, and then throw you away. Leave him. Excuse me. That's enough. All right. Doctor told you to rest. Rest. That's what you need. Rest. It's your bitterness and your, your wanting to know about everything that's between you in this condition. You are the one that's making this condition. You! You're the problem. You're the issue. You're the reason why I'm shouting and worried. You're my problem. You want me to die? I will not die. <laughs> Tell him, I will not die. Me? I will not die. I have nine lives. I will stay here and watch you and all those, your sister that you're carrying on around. I will not die. And did I remind you that no one has given you? You're the one who wants to kill your husband with a nagging every day. Yes! Go down with this. And who are you to advise me? Who the hell are you to advise me? This guy and you parade that for that you married her. This one is gonna suck you dry. We just leave you. Excuse you better run! Go now! Go! Go no, he's not meant to marry you. Oh, you are the one that has been Patient too, it's okay. Patience. Well, I, I hope you guys are fine and I hope Mama is doing fine too. Yes, brother. Mama is okay. very fine. That's good. Sorry, brother. Sorry we've not come to check her all this time. How is she doing? She's doing much better. Thank God. Fine. Thank God. Yeah. Is she inside? What? You two came to check if I'm still alive. I am very, very much alive. No, not that. We only came to check how you're doing. Go, oh, please don't patronize me. I know you don't like me. Stop pretending. We don't hate you. We actually love you. Thanks, so, so how are you doing now? Well, I'm very much okay. Better than you could ever be in your entire life. Babe, babe, stop it. We just came to check if you are okay. Don't start a fight. They came to make sure you're doing fine. That's why they're here. Yes. Check on who? These two that threatened to throw me out of my husband's house. That will never happen. I know deep inside your mind, you people are hoping and praying that I die. Nothing will happen. Babe, babe, can you just stop with the accusation and let's just have peace as a family? You know you will support them. They know your sisters. Show sure, feel together like this. You people want to chase out of my husband's house, but it will not happen. This house is equally my as well as yours. That's well, son. That's well, son. Hey, brother, this your wife will not change. Brother, how are you coping with this kind of woman? Look at you. You look so stressed already. I'm just praying you don't fall sick. Brother, does she even feed you well? You've lost weight, oh. <laughs> Brother, if she's giving you so much stress, mm -hmm. please just tell us. We'll go and call our friends, mm -hmm. even Mama. And I'm, I'm sure we'll chase her out of this house. Yes. It's okay, it's Peter. okay. Enough, enough. I don't need your help, all right? My home is under control. I don't need you guys coming to help me to do anything, okay? Just, guys, just calm down. It's okay. Are you sure? We're calming down, but just call us. So if anything happens like this, just call us like this. We are here already. I won't be needing your help. It's okay. All right? I can handle my home. Thank you people for coming to check on my wife, you know. At least you've shown her that you're concerned. That's enough, all right? <laughs>
want to talk to you. About what? I'm not ready to talk to you. Okay then, please listen. See, I've taken my time and I've thought things through thoroughly and I've come to the conclusion that this marriage can no longer work. I mean, it's not good. Look at you. See how you look, always stressed up, exhausting your strength, snooping around, nagging, losing your voice. And I'm also getting older. I'm not young anymore. My BP is rising every day and I don't want to die young. So I've come to the conclusion that, you know, it's not working. Let's just go our separate ways. That's the best for us. What? Yeah. Go, go which way? Our separate ways. How? What are you saying? When you were barring, for better for worse, you, you did not know this is how it went. You're not going anywhere. We're both in this together. Nobody's going anywhere. Look, um, I'm going to contact my lawyer and ask him to start a divorce proceedings. <laughs> you must be joking. That's the best for us. You must be joking. You are not easy to be with me. Die here, we die in this family. I've you can told never you. get rid of me. I've never. told you. For better or for worse, that's what you have. You are not getting rid of me. You are going no. We will die here. Me and you. We will die here. You have made me lose my voice. We will die here. You can crown me, but you can never get rid of me. Doctor, how is he? He is okay. The wound is not that too deep. I will send you some list of drugs we are gonna get for him, okay? Okay, okay. But make sure he takes it. Huh? Yes, I will. Well, madam, I'm, I'm so much concerned about your family. I have been noticing some traces of domestic violence in your family. Did you and your husband involve in a fight? Um, no, 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 doctor, nothing like that. What really happened? Uh, it, it was an accident, doctor. I mean, I, I, I was in the kitchen, I, I had a knife, I was working on something, and, and, and you know, the lights went off all of a sudden. And then I, 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 the light came on and I realized I stabbed my husband. It was a mistake, I, I, it wasn't intentional. Well, if you say so, I better take my leave now. Thank you very much. Make sure. He takes the drugs, okay? Yes, he will. I will send the list on your phone. Okay. You have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I really need you to help me, please. I need your help. You're the only one I can talk to. Listen, I'm only here because you sounded so worried on the phone. I haven't forgiven you for accusing me of trying to steal your husband. 
Babe, I'm sorry now. I was jealous that you know me now. I'm sorry. I really need you to help me, please. So, what's going on? I haven't seen my husband in days and he stopped picking my calls. Why don't you go to his office? Go to the company. That's a building. He may just decide to be there. I have, baby. He's not there. His secretary said he hasn't been coming to the office. What? Did you guys have a fight? Uh, no, no, not really fight. We just had a little quarrel. He wanted to leave the house and I was trying to stop him. I, I, I went to the kitchen to get the knife. I, I, I just wanted to threaten him. I just mistakenly stabbed him. <gasps> what? You did what? <laughs> you stabbed your husband with a knife? But Are you crazy? What has what happened over you? Baby, it was a mistake now. Can't you see how sorry I am? Ah, babe, no now. No! No! You went too far this time. I know. I know. That's why I want you to help me. What do I do? God. Babe! Okay, um, um. So have you called his family members? Just call someone and find out if he's with them. Call your fa his family members. I'm, I'm not in good terms with them. <laughs> okay, but you know where they stay. I, I know, but people don't want to see me. <sighs> this is serious. Okay, what of his friends? Have you called them? I'm sure one person would know where he is. Call his friends. I, I know just one of his friends, but I don't think he's that. I, I think he's in his family house with his sisters or somewhere. Babe, I hate to tell you this. I hate to say that I told you so. But I told you, I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. But now you want to ruin your own marriage with your hands. Look at what you've done. I don't understand, baby. Are you trying to judge me right now? I just told you that I'm sorry. Can't you see it? I'm sorry and I need you to help me. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it's okay. So what do we do now? I don't know. I truly love him. I don't want to lose him. Look, I've changed. I'm sorry. What do I do? I have to think. I have to think. Um, um, okay. Um, um. Where is she? Just, just this. <laughs> hey, this one you are so nice. I hope we are safe. Uh -uh. I'm always nice now. You're not my husband's sisters. Huh. You nice? Huh. No, don't say that. Never. Please, where is our brother? I hope he's at home. Huh? Our brother. I thought it's at your place. I don't what? understand. What are you talking about? I've not seen him. I've not seen him over a week now, and I was hoping it's at your end. Sister, what nonsense are you saying? You mean my brother has been missing for more than a week, and you did not even bother to tell us? How would I know now? Well, I was just hoping that he's at the family house. That's what I had in mind. Sister, are you sure this woman is okay? See, I know you're wicked. Mm -hmm. But it's obvious now that you are more than wicked. Yes. You are heartless. You're a terrible wife. Ha! See, I give you 24 hours. I will. 24 hours. If I don't see my brother, <laughs> Jesse, I've been waiting that they call your name. I will kill you. I will slice you. I will slice you like this. You see, I give you 24 hours. Doris, let's go. If don't look for my brother in 24 hours, she's dead already. Let's go. I, I was wondering, she was giving a stupid drink. I mean, she don't use her brother, do you, do Hey man, I, 
I think it's high time you start feeling too comfortable at my house and resume work, okay? Come on, you're already getting better. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know, Jesse is going to go to the office each and every day looking for me. And I don't want to be part of a stupid drama, you know? Having those things going on at the office. I told a lawyer already and he started the whole divorce process. So things are going to be fine. You know, I... I partially blame myself for all this you've been through. But I kept telling you to, you know, be patient and tolerant. I never no one was going to lead to this accident. Bro, come on, it's not your fault. I knew Jessie was a ticking bomb the moment she started being extra obsessive. But I, I mean, I've, I've made up my mind. I'm done with her and I'm, I'm not going back to her anymore. I'm done. <sighs> You'll be fine. Uh, you had something? Give something a drink? Uh, no. Come on, man, you need to take something to drink. I'll be right back. You need to drink something. Door open. You left the whole door ajar like that. Huh? That's not safe, you know. Yes, I didn't even realize the door was open. Just stressed out and tired. I know. So what's up? Any news about your husband? Have you had one? The sisters were here earlier, and they claimed he's not at their end. This is getting serious. So what do you do now? What? Okay, what about his friends? Which of them is he closest to? It's just Mike. And I've been calling him. I've called him countless times. Mike is not picking his calls. What's going on? Uh, but you know Mike's house, yeah? I do. But, but I don't think he's there. I know my husband. I know he's hiding somewhere. He's not there. I just don't know what to do. Nancy and I finally decided to divorce Jesse. She was really open in relating to his kid. Believe me, you. I'm in full support of his decision this time. Yes. Just imagine if she had stabbed him to death. So even Nathan would have left this earth just like that? God forbid. I knew it was going to get into domestic violence. You see, obsessive people. They can go to any length to protect their partners. Jesse. But then, what baffles me more is the fact that she came here pleading that I should talk to him. She did? You know, and she was looking so sorry. I almost pitied her, but when I remembered all she did to him, you know, let's, let's not just even go into this. It's, it's better he took this decision. JC. JC. But he's been through a lot. He's been through a lot. Thank God you never supported him. Not restraining that. Oh. Jesse. Look, I want you to go in there, pack your things, and leave my house now. I was telling her that you would come back to me. I told her that you can't do this to me. I said I want you to go in there, pack your things, and leave my house now. You can't do this to me now. No, no, wait, wait, wait. We can sort things out. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I did. I'm really sorry. Please, I'm sorry, my love. I love you so much. Yes. She's crying. She hasn't been sleeping. She hasn't been eating. Yes. She won't do it again. She has changed. Yes, I haven't even been breathing well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, please. I'm sorry. Is that sure? Let's see, I'm sure I didn't start up when I took the push. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to go inside and pack your things and throw them out? No, no, I thought you were joking. No, no.
the house and I was trying to stop him. What kind of mistake? By stabbing your own husband. What is wrong with you? What has gotten into you? I tried to talk to you countless times, but you would not listen. You're too stubborn for yourself. I just said I didn't do it intentionally. I, 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 would, I, would, I just wanted to scare him and I mistakenly stabbed him. Oh great, you've scared him. What have you gained? Look at what he has landed. <sighs> what are you going to do now? What's Listen, in her normal mind, normal senses does that. That is ridiculous. Stabbing a human being like you? Jesus. Mom, it was a mistake. Mistake? I didn't mean to. I know. But explain that to the world. I didn't know. I've tried to talk to you. I've pleaded with you. I've done everything humanly possible. That a mother could do. But you just refused to listen. Mom, I just said I did it. You didn't you know, I know, but look at where you are. You're back in your house. Coming to disturb me. Where is your husband? You better start asking for me. Please find it in your heart to forgive your wife. Whatever it is that she has done against you, please take her back. I've made up my mind. I cannot be with your daughter anymore. I mean, your daughter should be my happiness. But she's a threat to that very happiness. She's a threat to my life. I know my daughter still loves you. Ever since you dropped her off, she's been crying. She's been crying, please. Forgive and forget, and please not on her behalf. Take her back. I, 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 I hate saying this, especially to you, but my relationship with Jesse is over. I can't. I can't take Jesse back, Mama. I, I, I just can't. Please. One more chance. Just give her a chance. You will never regret it. I'm telling you. That's the thing you don't understand. I've given Jesse so many chances. I've given her so many chances and she's she's ruined them all. That your husband left you does not mean that you should kill yourself. What is going on? Look at you. You just keep crying. Look at how tattered you look. You look so unkempt. Look at your hair. What's going on? You're still a very young and beautiful girl. Look at you. Look at, look at where you're looking. Babe, you need, to, you need to take care of yourself. You need to stop all this. Look good. What's the point of looking good? Oh, so because Nelson left you, then that's the end of the road for you. That's not the end of the road, my dear friend. You need to move on. Like, somebody else can come. A better person would come. Just work on yourself. I don't want someone else. I want him. But he says he doesn't want you anymore. That's what he said. I not come back and kill myself. You would kill yourself. That means you've lost totally because you would still not have him. So even if he decides to come back, you would never have the opportunity to have him again. You heard him. You heard him. He said he doesn't want to have anything to do with me. 
You heard him when he said it. Ah, oh, sweetheart. You need to look on the brighter side. You're still very young. You can't continue like this. Somebody better would come. Just come in there, have your bath, look good. You know what? I just made something really nice. Something I know you would love. So what I want you to do right now is go in, shower, and then you eat. Please. No more crying. Please. Lose it in my mind. You don't have to. Come on. Something good will come your way. Just believe. Tell me, you know your friend doesn't live here. So what are you doing here? <sighs> you know, well, I'm just here to beg you on her behalf. Listen, I can't bear to watch her go through so much pain. She's hurting really bad. She's even beginning to lose interest in life. With the way she's going, I don't know. She just seems very suicidal and I'm afraid that she may take her own life. Please, can you just give her another chance? so much for, for giving me and ready to make things work again. Thank you. I'm really sorry. Um, I think we should just give thanks to um, your mom and uh, your best friend, Toma. They couldn't let me rest. They kept pestering me, pestering me, making sure I forgive you. And uh, they made me to realize that you have changed and you are your brand new person. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know I was ruining my marriage. I thought I was protecting it. I really, really love you and I was scared to lose you. But I took it the wrong way. I'm sorry. I, I promise I'll make it right this time. You won't regret it. No, no. I understand. I mean, it's going to be difficult because... Um, a lot of things happen, a lot of things were broken, but I'm sure we can work things out. Yes, we can. And uh, our love can you know, get back to where it used to be. I'll make sure of that. I can love you like I used to. Yes, and I will make sure you don't regret it. Yes, I will. Come here. You can stop by at the house anytime too. Okay, I will stop. Please. Mama. You will not regret this issue. Thank you so much for coming back to me. Thank you, Mama. I mean, I promise you won't regret this. You won't. I God, hope you bless so. all of you. Yeah. Bless, 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 bless the children. Thank you, Mama. Bless, bless, bless the children. <laughs> yes, Mama. So you're hitting me again? No, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. Say sorry. I'm sorry, my husband. Kneel down. She has changed you. Hey, all glory to God. Yes, we are. Since you made isn't it your top priority in this house. I know you guys are having a swell time and laughing at me while at it. Why are you making a face of pain? When did you start having issues with my work and if you make a league in the office? Look, babe, you can't fool me. I have been observing you for a while now. I know you're having an affair with that lady you call your colleague. I can't tolerate you cheat on me. Hi, hi guys, hi girl. Then, okay. Oh, babes, can I see you for a minute? Please. I am really not in a good mood to talk to Um, trust me, I won't waste your time. Just come, babes. You have to come. Please, just a minute. Mr. Sisson. Tell 
<laughs> Why is your wife so angry? What did you do? She just got paranoid. She believes I'm having an affair with a female colleague in the office. And this is beginning to piss me off. Calm down, calm down. Because she's nagging. And you know I can deal with it. I know, I know. But I'm not this. Right? Babe, what you did is... Look, I have to be honest with you. The way you spoke to your husband is wrong. You don't speak to him like that. See, girl, I would appreciate it if you put your mouth out of my family issues. You're in no position to advise me at all. I am. Yes, because I've been there. And I know this too. This, this annoyance, everything. I know it. I learned the hard way. Your case is quite different from mine. No, it's not, babe. Oh. This is how it starts. You start getting angry unnecessarily. You start raising your voice. You try controlling your husband. And the next thing you start monitoring all these movements. You know, Bulen and the jealousy. She's very just jealous, that's all. Be patient, okay? You, you used to talk to me about patience. Sigil, trust me. I know what I am doing. Trust me on that. Calm down. Calm down. Just relax. I mean, you said your husband is the best and is responsible. Yes. Yes, I understand, but there's this colleague of his that is always chatting with that makes him to forget everything about me. I mean, everything is that fair. I'm, I'm sure you can talk to him about it. I'm sure he has an explanation to do. You know, in marriage, when you have issues, when you don't understand something, you talk. Let him explain to you. You know, just work something out. You don't have to have all this. I don't want you to ruin your marriage. You know what happened to me, don't you? <sighs> calm down. Calm down, please. Talk to him. Right? Just calm down. No, I thought she was more matured. I know. I would have gotten married to her if she had showed me this after to you. But it's your wife, you don't need to be patient. Be patient. Be lovely, delightful, calm. Sorry. You don't give me attention as you used to do. Because we're jealous. Always why I reacted to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's good I got you back. Yes. I'll just go to the bedroom by you. Now I can see your handwork. Okay. <laughs> You've been doing a great job. I don't regret taking you back. I don't regret taking you back. I don't want you to do your service if you were on the wrong way. What's the way he's going? Wedding. Whoa! Where are the rings? Let's go wedding already! Let's go wedding already! 